Welcome to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, June 30th, 2016. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Last weekend, we had plenty of action down in the great state of South Carolina at the first annual IFBB South Carolina Grand Prix. And in the Classic Physique Division, a spectacular R.D. Caldwell brought arguably his best look ever to the stage to earn his first pro victory, defeating a solid effort from second-year pro Antonio Mitchell, who was making his Classic Physique debut. And rounding out the top three was Jonathan Sebastian, who just keeps continuing to improve since making the jump from men's physique. Over on the bikini side of things, Bianca Berry's spectacular season continues with another huge victory as she continues to fine tune the engine and build momentum heading into the Olympia. With just over a month to go before kicking off this year's edition of the NPC USA Championships, we're officially entering into the dog days of contest prep. So if you're looking for an early show pre-favorite who's going to come in and shake things up in the middleweight division, you might want to keep your eye on species nutrition athlete Dominic Mutasio. After breaking into the top 10 in his first pro qualifier at last year's USA, Mutasio put his nose to the grindstone during the offseason, packing on plenty of quality new size to go along with might be the best conditioning we're going to see from any athlete in the entire show. When it all boils down to it in bodybuilding, conditioning win shows. And if Mutasio comes in and outconditions the field, it's going to be very hard to deny him the title. If you thought that Akeem Williams killing the competition at last weekend's Bros vs. Pros was impressive, just wait until you see what he does at this weekend's Chicago Pro. Right now, the undefeated and undisputed world's strongest bodybuilder is just days away from making his season debut, where he'll be looking to come back and settle a little bit of unfinished business in the Windy City, following last year's hotly contested third place finish. Not only is Williams coming back bigger this time around, but he's also going to be more conditioned, which should put him right in the mix of things up there in that first call out. And if everything goes as predicted, we can expect to see an epic clash of the titans between Williams and Dallas McCarver that's absolutely going to be worth the price of admission. Speaking of settling some unfinished business in Chicago, 212 Pro Brad Davis will be making his second straight trip to the stage in Chi-Town this weekend. Last year, the former North American champ made his pro debut in an impressive fashion at the Chicago Pro, where he placed seventh in a deep lineup that featured a couple of top ten Olympians. But after securing his first career win at the Pittsburgh Masters Championships last year and another productive offseason, Davis is heading into this year's contest with an entirely different look in his eye. When he's dialed in, Davis has the sort of eye-popping muscle that really comes to life as he poses. But with the depth and quality we're expecting to see in this year's lineup, he better make sure he brings his absolute best, because 99% just might not be good enough. Summer has finally arrived, and Michael Lockett is back to lifting ridiculously heavy. Earlier in the week, a video surfaced of a 270-pound Lockett making 405 on the bench, look like an easy walk in the park as he prepares to head into the next phase of his contest plans. Despite a bit of tumultuous offseason, he was still able to manage to make some improvements and take home a top five finish earlier in the season in a deep California pro lineup. As far as talent is concerned, the Cleveland native has it in spades and seems to have all the raw materials in place to build a top 10 Olympia caliber physique. And if Lockett has anything to say about it, this weekend at the Chicago Pro, he intends to come, conquer, and take no prisoners. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out IronMagLabs.com today. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 